In the F-Color stove set you get a tea light oven and three tea lights to get you started. These sit securely in the recesses underneath. You also get a firing plate on which you place the powder blanks when baking. That sits just on top like so. You get a couple of U-strips on which you can rest your blanks when powdering. These make it easier to pick up the powder blank with a metal spatula also included and transfer it onto the stove. You also get some tweezers and this little gadget. This is a firing stand. It enables you to enamel both sides of a copper blank. Also in the kit is an F-Colour booklet with step-by-step -step instructions on how to enamel as well as some ideas for creating decorative effects. First you need a copper blank. If you give that just a, a light sand with some fine sandpaper, just helps the powder key in. Just wipe off any sanding grit before you start. And then place this on your U-strip. You'll find it a lot easier to lift it off once you've powdered it. Then you need your pot of F-colour powder. I've got dark blue here. Pop a sieve top in the top of the tube as this will make powdering your blank a lot easier. What you want is a good even layer of powder all over the surface of your copper blank. The most common mistake people make when they first start out is they don't put enough on. You want to make sure that there's no copper shining through. A good thick coat of powder will give you a lovely glossy finish. Don't worry if it does get a little bit lumpy, the longer you leave it on the stove, the smoother it will get. But do try, as I say, to put it on as evenly as possible. Now that we can lift off and place on our tea light stove. As I say, the most common mistake people make when they first start out is they don't put enough powder on. Don't worry overly about that. If you do find when you take it off the heat that the powder's melted but it's a very thin coat and it's not lovely and glossy, don't worry, just apply another layer of powder and reheat and you will find that they will bond together and you'll have a lovely glossy finish. Now I just use an old blusher brush just to dust off my U-strip and this powder, I'm not going to waste it, I'm going to pop it back into my pot of powder. You should find that it does go back through the sieve top, just give it a, a few taps and you'll find it all go back into the pot so you can reuse it on your next blank. And then any powder remaining on your paper, again I just brush that off with my brush. And then you're ready to stay, start again. So let's just see if this is done yes that is you can see the powder it's lost its powdered look and it's got a lovely glossy finish to it so it doesn't take long only a minute or two for it to melt the powder and this will place on the u-strip and just allow it to cool just for a few moments right now that's cool enough it's still a little bit warm but it's cool enough to start for my second coat so again I'm going to apply another coat just a not quite so thick just a slightly thinner coat of dark blue all over the blank just to build up my layer of enamel and have a lovely smooth glossy finish to it and what I'm also going to do now just a simple way to give interest and, and create a, a pattern is just to take some other colors I've got some white here and if you just tap off on the side just to get your tube started and then you can just get a very fine dusting of powder and I'm also going to do some light blue just sprinkle that randomly over the top and if you think oh you've got a little bit too much of one color you can always come back and and with more of your dark blue or white just get it to a point where you're happy with your colors now that is now ready for me to again lift that off and pop that back onto my firing plate on the tea light stove.
I'll leave that just for a few moments. Now this time, because we've used more than one colour, we can't pour that back into our pots because it's all mixed. And this is where if you have got a little pot or tube that you can use, pour all this powder into that. Don't waste anything. All your mixed powders you can use just as you would your plain colours. You can get some fabulous effects with some of these mixed up colours. So just keep that for later. And again, dust off any excess powder. You can keep applying layers. You can do two or three, four layers even, depending on how thick they are to start off with, until you are happy with your finished blank. What you will find is your second layer and any subsequent layers tend to melt a little bit quicker than your first, purely because you've got enamel there already. So if we lift up the lid, yes, that's a lovely glossy finish. So I can lift that off. As you can see, beautiful glossy finish there. So pop that on one side and again, place that back onto your U-strip just to allow it to cool. Having allowed your blank to cool, it's a good idea to check the back of the blank for any stray enamel. I haven't got any here, but you may find you get an odd bit. You'll find a lot easier to remove this by giving it a quick rub with some sandpaper before attaching your jewellery findings. As you can see, it is very easy to create an attractive and unique pendant using the F-Colour Low Melt enamel powders.